Well, hi there. Well, you know, we we're going to do a really high production values video for this song. It's going to be pretty cool. We're going to have uh, well, emulators and, and, and blue screen. It's going to be pretty cool. But, uh, you know, it would have taken us a couple of months. And, uh, well, a man called us up and said that, you know, if we didn't get a video in in the next couple of days, uh, well, we'd lose the gig. Now, you know, we're not wanting to be pushed around by the man. <laughs> no way, you know. But we started thinking that artistically, the best thing for this song, really, would be to just do it, you know, live to tape there. You know, I had a microphone, a webcam, and, you know, the DV camera there, and just capture that organic performance in a, in a digital form, you know, and, and that would sort of work with the theme uh, of the piece. So, you know, that's what we're going to do, because then, you know, this way we get the check. So, we're on take 53, we're going at it all night, recorded about 20 takes without any audio, that was cool, um, but I think we're going to get it on this one. I think this is, this is the take. Yeah. You see, I come from a time way back in the 1970s when computers were used for two things. You either go to the moon or play Pong. Nothing in between. You didn't need a fancy operating system to play Pong. And the men and women, well, the men who went to the moon, well, God bless them, they did it with no mouse, you know, and a text-only black and white screen and 32 kilobytes of RAM. Huh. Well, then around the late 1970s, home computers started to do a little more than play Pong. Very little more. Why? Computers started to play non-pong-like games and balance checkbooks. Hell, you could play Zaxxon on an Apple II and, and write a book, all with a computer that had 32 kilobytes of RAM. Yeah, it was enough to go to the moon. It was enough for you. It was a golden time, a time before Windows and bloatware and color time before every OS sucked. <sighs> well, way back in the olden times, my computer worked for me. I'd laugh and play all night and day on Zork 1, 2, and 3, the Amiga VIC-20 and the Sinclair 2, the TRS-80 and the Apple II. They did what they were supposed to do. It wasn't much, but it was enough. But then Xerox made this prototype. Steve Jobs came on the scene. Red of mice and menus, windows, icons, and trash, and a bitmap screen. Old Stevie said to Xerox, Boys, turn your heads and cough. When no one was looking, he ripped their interfaces off. Stole every feature that he had seen, put it in a cute box with a tiny little screen. Mac OS 1 ran that machine, only cost 5,000 bucks. But it was slow, it was buggy, so they wrote it again, and well, now they're up to OS 10. They'll charge you for the beta, then charge you again, but the Mac OS still sucks. Every OS wastes your time from the desktop to the lap. Everything since Apple DOS, just a bunch of crap. From Microsoft to Macintosh to Linline, Linline Knox. Every computer crashes, cause every OS sucks. Well then Microsoft jumped in the game, copied Apple's interface with an OS named Windows 3.1 and it was twice as lame, but the stock price rose and rose. Then Windows 95, then 98, man, Solitaire never ran so great. Every single version came out late, but I guess that's the way it goes. That bloatware will crash and delete your work. NTME, man, none of them work. Bill Gates may be Richard and Captain Kirk, but the Windows OS blows and sucks. At the same time, I'm traded in, yeah, right, for what? It's top of the line from the Compu Hut. The fridge, stove, and toaster never crash on me. I should be able to get online without a PhD. My phone doesn't take a week to boot it. My TV doesn't crash when I mute it. I miss ASCII text and my floppy drive. I wish Vic 20 was still alive. But it ain't the hardware man. 
It's just that every always sucks and blows. Now there's Linux or Linux. I don't know how you say it or how you install it or use it or play it or where you download it or what programs run, but Linux or Linux don't look like much fun. However you say it, it's getting great press, though how it survives is anyone's guess. If you ask me, it's a great big mess for elitist nerdy schmucks. It's free, they say, if you can get it to run. The geeks say, hey, that's half the fun. Yeah, well, I got a girlfriend and things to get done. The Linux OS sucks. I'm sorry to say it, but it does. It, it sucks. I'm sorry. Every OS wastes your time from the desktop to the lap. Everything since the abacus, just a bunch of crap. From Microsoft to Macintosh to Linline, Linline Knox. Every computer crashes, cause every OS sucks. Every computer crashes, cause every OS sucks.